It's become more in the evidence that the, that the transgender drag queen agenda of grooming and perversion has been facing much more growing backlash in the recent years, ever since dementia Joe Biden took and uh, took power through a fake election. And I'm not saying I'm a Trump supporter, by the way, too. I just don't believe the election was legitimate. Side issue. But the bottom line is, is that normal people, especially parents, are not all that approving of their kids being exposed to pornographic imagery and cross-dressing men who mutilate their genitals to fulfill some weird desire and mental illness that was classified as a mental illness back when America was more sane. Plain and simple. You see, normal parents, when they find out that schools are hiding things behind their backs and showing their kids sexually graphic imagery under the guise of education, and you have grown men putting on, on dresses and reading books to kids, grooming them into something they have no uh, mental capacity to say they want to actually say yes or no to, yeah, of course they're going to get backlash. You know, of course, normal parents are going to reject it, are, are going to object to that. Because let's face it, a kid who's five or six years old thinks that when they go to Disney World, they're meeting the actual character. You know, so you can you can talk these kids into doing almost anything. You can talk them into you can easily talk them into thinking that they're transgender when they're not. You know, a kid that young doesn't even know what gender is, let alone knows what the implications are long term of these transgender surgeries, because the health implications are long term and very serious. And a lot of times you have them become teenagers and adults and regret it and say, no, I was just talked into it. So it's facing growing backlash because the moment they start going after kids, because it went from, oh, we, two consenting adults doing their thing in the room to now your kids are going to accept it or now we're going to like basically take your kids away or we're going to ruin your life if you don't accept it. You must wear the pride armband or else we're going to ruin your life. So it's no longer about two consenting adults. It's now forcing acceptance among the uh, basically the, the, the once silent majority. Because normal people have always rejected this stuff. The only people who are, are vocal about it is just a loud and annoying minority on the internet who make a fuss on Twitter whenever some company doesn't cater to their agenda. So plain and simple. So that's why I'm facing growing backlash because normal people are finally making their voices known. The silent majority is coming out and no longer is silent. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.